Okay, hello together. Hello. This is Lynn. Hi. She's a very nice lady. <laughs> uh, now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> and the most important thing is the heart of the company, right? The head, like, if the, the system can be as amazing as possible, but it's most important how the CEO is, right? The CEO is the most honest person you will ever meet in your life. Okay, so Mike Dees is a... Mike does he does he uh, drive a Bentley or Ferrari? No, or? no, no. Mike Dees drives a truck. A truck. He drives a truck. Americans drive trucks. Okay, okay. He drives a truck. He lives a very modest lifestyle. He's the most honest person I've ever met, and uh, I love the Gatwicks. Nice. We get on so well together, and I couldn't work for anybody better. Of course, he's still rolling his cigarettes yes. instead of. He doesn't believe in wasting any money at all. Don't know if I could do a video. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna show me up now. I've got a cold. I feel awful. Yeah. <laughs> Lily was already like, "Oh, this is so embarrassing." Oh so Tony, uh, what do you think about maps when people say like, "Does it still working in the next two or three years?" Oh gosh, <laughs> there are many, many statements to qualify that. We have programmers that have booked up for six years. We have plans in place, written up for between ten and fifteen years. The company's liability is already way beyond that. In, in terms of being paying profit share out, well ahead. But the most important statement is Mike Dees himself, when he built my advertising pays, his full intention is to hand it over to his daughter to manage the run the business. And she's three years old. <laughs> so is it going to be a yes? Why did Mike Dees start Maps? Because of so many companies that he didn't trust. So many companies that uh, took people's money and they never paid them. And Mike um, wanted to create something where everybody got paid. I, I've heard he was at the same uh, position that he couldn't pay his bills, so he wanted to help people to pay the bills. He wanted to help everybody, whether they get 1,200 credit packs or um, as we've got a friend whose mother wanted to just earn an extra 50 UK pounds per week to uh, enable her to have a central heating on without worrying about the bills and to be able to go out with her friends for a coffee and a cake in the afternoon and she's absolutely delighted that she's doing that and that is Mike's dream to create that for people. Nice. A little bit of extra money for everybody. Yeah, even for the simple guy, right? Absolutely. Not everybody wants to be what Simon calls a diamond, a 1200 credit pack member. Yeah. Mike's not interested in that. All he wants is everyone to achieve what they want and if it's £50 a week, or a hundred euros a week and they've achieved that then he's a happy man. Nice. Many, many people in, in this industry very quickly become wealthy and from an ordinary everyday person to have millions of dollars available changes them. They become a different person. Most sometimes in negative, huh? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Unfortunately. They get a power craze, they get this I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Big. Yeah, yeah. If Mike D's walked in here, he'd, he'd be no different than anybody else in the room. He, he, he doesn't stand out. He doesn't want to stand out. Uh, and money doesn't influence him. He doesn't actually know how much money comes into the business every day. Mm. Now, people find that very difficult to believe because Lynn manages that. What he is now conscious of is ensuring the growth of the industry for the next 5, 10, 15 years. And that's what he's working on, that's where he is now. He's not working on day-to-day -day running of the business. He's looking forward well ahead. He's looking forward in the terms of the numbers of the growth, how we manage that growth, how we, how we administer to that, those people. Uh, he's looking at, with all that money to be invested, to grow, so it's not just sat around doing nothing. It's yeah. not just sat there waiting. It's now going to go to work and, and, and take the business forward. And then we've got, I think, eight projects we're working on for this year mm. to bring in. And the, those projects will do nothing but improve the profit, bring more revenue into the business. And that's what he's focused on. Nice. Because he knows he's now got currently 140 odd thousand people to feed but in 12 months time, that will become a million. So he's looking to achieve.
It's so tough to, to believe in that right now because there's so many uh, companies ruined the reputation yes. of online marketing oh, right? yes. and online business. So th now we have this gold mine, but it's so tough to really believe in it. Uh, you cannot meet Mike D's just like this. So the trust in the company is just with Mike D's. Huh? The trust with the company is with Mike D's, but he's also got his staff that help him because Mike realized that he couldn't do all of this on his own, which he can't. It's impossible. Yeah. Um, he's got myself and Tony and our two daughters now are involved and we control all the finances of the company we pay everybody every day and so um, she's responsible that I get my, uh, <laughs> my yes, money every, your money every single day so we've brought our eldest daughter on now and all we do all day every day is pay you guys <laughs> nice. I like that <laughs> so a last question what do you think maps in 10 years there's a 10 year plan there's more than a 10 year plan there's people like oh, does it run for the next two or three years Oh goodness me, we've got plans that will bring our grandchildren into doing our jobs. Okay. Yes. Yeah, definitely. We, we've got so many plans, we can't reveal them yet because we've got legal people working on all sorts of different stuff. Um, but we've got so many plans for the future, it's so exciting. Nice. Yeah. That was the reason that we went out to be with Mike for five weeks okay. and um, there's been so many discussions about the forward plans, it's just really exciting. Nice. Awesome. Sounds really good. It is. Lynn, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>